I gotta know. He had a stance in this and so forth. Anyway, welcome back to more Pokemon movie in the last episode. We defeated Watson and some other stuff. This is Camper Larry. I can come to think of it with all the training battles, so you might not make it to my next team member. Unless I decide to cut stuff out. This is the 10th episode and we've already gotten 3 gym badges. This leads to a town that we cannot currently get to. It's really sucks. the Taylor. Wah. A Lombor. Lombore. Yay. Yeah, this is a required battle because he just sees you. I don't care about your leg, but it's creepy. But I didn't pay attention to how many Pokemon he had, so I'll just keep this in. He just has four Geodudes. Go back can easily take him out with spikes. And this battle's done. He's also a trainer, but we're not gonna fight him just yet. Okay, so welcome to this fiery path of radiance. This is the path of radiance, people. Honestly, come on. Actually, no, it's a, no, I don't mind. And this is another part of Route Wednesday. This is a cool trainer. He has Electrike, Makuhita, and some other Pokemon that like, really doesn't matter. Oh, he flinched. And then he uses a super potion. That's fine. Now I'm gonna get paralyzed. Oh, I did. Yay, okay. And actually, yeah, we are gonna get my 13 over here. Screw it. That's a well but whatever. I hate it when trainers use items. Why? Oh, ow. This is gonna hurt. Uh oh. Yeah, roll out. We'll progressively do a lot more damage. It, it, goes, it goes from... Uh... It doesn't have good power. It's like... I forget its base power, but it can go up to... It can, it can hurt. Oh, Confuse Ray. That's just wonderful. Get rid of Supersonic because Confuser has 100% accuracy. So, yeah, I'm like Supersonic, I won't miss and screw me over. Uh... I 
Okay, so I'm gonna take the Macho Brace off from Buskin because I just remembered that it lowers your speed, it cuts your speed in half, and we don't really want that. I mean, we don't want that. Let's so we'll take that off. So if you talk to this guy, we'll give you TM 33 Secret Power. And you say, this is something I was in Ruby and Sapphire and Emeralds, you could put up secret bases. You can use it. And he leaves. That was just a waste. Okay, well, whatever. Cut down this tree, which is what I recommend you do. Tell you off, okay. Old ladies, rest up. This doesn't sound creepy at all. I mean, she will give you a rest, but the thing is, rest, you rest once, and she's gonna be like, oh dear, your Pokemon are so tired, don't keep spamming A, because you're just gonna be stuck here forever in an eternal loop. Nobody wants that. Okay, so, up there, there's a karate guy, when you take your, when you take my mock bike up there, but I'm kind of in a rush, so, like I say, I like how I say I'm kind of in a rush and just rush right into a battle. She won't be too much of a problem. But I will cut this out for the sake of time. And we are back. So now this is a new route, Route 113. This is near, um, I, I forget what the name of the mountain is, but, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's near this place and it's covered in volcanic ash, which is actually really cool. Because it's near a volcano and it's covering up the sun. Ah, it's so pink. It may not look like it, but this thing evolves into a dragon Pokemon. Yeah. When it's fully evolved, that is. That's that it was not cool. Eat this stink. It should. There's some trainers here, but I'm gonna be I'm trying to avoid a lot of the trainers for so when I get my third team member he can be up in pars or she, whatever gender it is. She has a new moon. I'm avoiding the trainer just for the sake of my you see member. You can go in this house, you can get they'll give you a glass pot or something. He'll give you a bag so he can make flutes for you. But like I said, in a rush. And welcome to not repel war off. Caliber Town. But we have no time to waste here, so talk to this guy and he will give you TM05 War. Actually, this place holds a really special place in my heart. Really. Okay. So, this spot, right here, a few years ago, I was fishing here for no apparent reason, I was bored. So then I used my old rod and fished up a Magikarp. So I'm just like, oh, it's a Magikarp, oh my god. So, it was yellow, it was a shiny Magikarp. I am not joking, I'm like, what? I didn't know it was shiny, I didn't know shiny Pokemon existed in this game. But I was so amazed that it was a different color, so I caught it and kept it, and used it. It was amazing. Okay, but now we're going to be looking, we're actually going to be looking for my third team member. So yeah. It's around, it's on this route, it's only in Ruby. It's not Nuzleaf. If I wanted a Nuzleaf, then I would have caught one by now. Not that rare. No, come on, seriously. I may have to cut. I'll give it two more tries. Oh, 
Okay, that's one. Okay, one more try. Okay, here it is, ironically. I didn't even cut that. It is a Zangoose. Zangoose, this is my favorite Pokemon. It can only be found in Ruby. There's no Swords Dance, which is a really good move. And I knew it was going to be her, too. Don't kill it, please. Yes. Okay, that's really bad. It has plus four on its attack. But yeah, this thing is just awesome. What? Oh god, this is going to be bad already. See how much that did? It did 40 damage. No, 30. Okay. Okay, the fact that the stars don't pop up really scares me. I already have a good nickname for it. Yes, its nickname is going to be... Flasher. Okay, so yeah, we have my next team member. It's really cool. So what are we up to? About 10 minutes since I cut? Uh, wow. Combustion is the only male on my team. Okay, let's check out its nature. Lonely nature. That increases attack and decreases something. So let us look that up. Sorry for the, in sorry for the inconvenience. But I just really want to know. Because I have my Pokemon book with me, so... Yeah. Here we go, Lonely. Increases attack and lowers defense. It doesn't have good defense anyway, so that is fine with me. And its the only ability is immunity. So it's not going to be getting poisoned. And look at its stats. It has 45 attack, and it's only level 16. That is amazing. Look, it's so awesome. It doesn't have good moves. It, has, it learns some pretty good moves. So let's see what other moves. I know it can learn, like, secret power and stuff like that. But, yeah. So I'm going to cut this episode short so I can train Slasher off screen. So next time on Pokemon Ruby, we'll be heading into Mount Moon. So, with that, blah, 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 see you guys next time.